Hey guys, we're live on the moon. Early, early, early. Wednesday morning, the 18th of April, 6.05 a.m. I've been up all night. I did Saturn uh, late last night, around midnight. And I... Uh, I wanted to to show you this uh, unusual moon. This is a slit. This is what they call an official slither of a moon. And if I go out to the end of the of the slither, you can see it looks like a it looks like a an elephant tusk or something. I'm going to work my way down slow and and just let you look at this thing. I don't think I've ever seen the moon quite like this. This is what they call a slith a slither of a of a moon. I I have my uh, 2.5 Pyramate Barlow in there with a 19 millimeter, and I have no zoom applied, and we're looking at at the at the very very edge of the moon and it 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 looks strange <laughs> I mean, at first I I wasn't even going to show you this but it, it, it was so strange that I thought I'd I just crank it up and show you this won't be a, a real long video but you, I'm going to kind of work my way all the way through the slither. Then we might uh, turn the uh, Barlow on a little bit just to look a little closer. Sometimes you can see you can see uh, UFOs flying in and out uh, of the shadow on a slither. So let, let's just kind of kind of take it as it as it comes and see what we can see. I hope you. Uh, are doing well. This is going to be my last shot at the moon uh, for about a, a two a week and a half, two weeks, uh, simply because uh, the th this this moon is going to go dark on me tomorrow night. And matter of fact, let's let's just see if we can zoom in a little bit. Because we do have some crater detail here, and uh, and let me see if I can focus it. Not not too much. It's just I'll leave it right there. Not there. That you can see the the tunneling. I'll leave it right there. Uh, the the moon is just coming up, and I might I might put it on pause and let it get a little higher. But 6:08, we you know the sun's going to be coming up here in just a little bit. In in this a strange moon though a slither of a slither of a moon, quite literally a slither. And let me turn the color intensity down just a little bit. You wanted a slither? Well, you got a slither. <laughs> not, not too much UFO activity on the moon right now that I can see. <laughs> Let, let's try to zoom in right there. I'll just go as close as I can get and see if I can focus it. And see I put it on autofocus. It's just there, there's too much there's too much atmospherics. There's too much atmospherics, and, and and quite frankly, by the time it gets up, 
in the air uh, any higher. The, the sun will be out and I won't be able to show you anything. So th this is really just going to be a... Let me try to turn the brightness down a little bit. I want to go down, so I got to hit the uh, up arrow. This is going to be just uh, just to show you a slither, a slither of a moon. And let me turn the brightness down just a little bit. See, there's not too much to see, but if you look. at this part, you know, some of you guys uh, might, might go out and look at the moon and you'll see this kind of slither of a moon. It's just a, you know, so what in the hell would that look like a, with a telescope? Well, I'm showing you what it would look like. It, it, it looks like an elephant tusk or a rhinoceros tusk. Quite frankly, that's exactly what it looks like. And let's go in a little closer right here at the tusk at the at this part. Yeah, see we we get in too close and it's just you're you're seeing as much detail I think as I can show you. But th this is unusual. And go way out here. It really, this is something I've never seen. I've never seen anything quite like this. And then the the the, the point. And then I'll I'll kind of center it. I want to make a comment on my. Uh, I did a video. I don't know if you've watched it or not. I did a video of the uh, of Saturn. It actually turned out pretty good. I watched it, except for the very end. I couldn't get it back in focus, but it was in pretty good focus. Uh, I'll tell you what I might do. I might put this thing on pause and just take the Barlow out and see if I can show you in one frame more of the slither. That's what I'll do before I close this thing out. But th this is a, a strange, strange thing to see. Uh, to see in any kind of detail at all. Usually, in a, in a shadow line, you can you're, you're looking for things. I, I looked at my moon chart. I have an application on my iPad that I can can actually see the moon in detail, and I can see where the shadow line is. And there wasn't anything at all to see, hardly at all. But what? And I, I wasn't even going to do a video, but but when I saw the uh, what looked to me like an elephant tusk, I said, this has got to be something really interesting and strange. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on the on the, the tusk, the curve part. Isn't that strange? Looks like an alien spaceship of some kind. I'm going to put it on pause, guys, and we're going to uh, Look at this uh, without the uh, without the Barlow, so we'll be able to see more of the moon in one go. Hang with me, picking it up on the back side, and then we're going to close it out early because this is just a a, a slither of a moon. <laughs> Hang with me, guys. Okay, we're back, and you can see what I was looking at, uh, the slither of a moon. Uh, there's probably a fancy name. they got Gibbons. they got all kinds of weird names. I'm not really up on the names. But this moon is uh, fixing to go dark on us tomorrow night, and this is a, uh, a last shot. The, 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 here you can see what we were looking at. 
uh, and let me turn uh, let me turn my contrast up a little bit. Actually, it looks better, I think, with this uh, without the Barlow. I might even try to zoom here in a minute. And I'll turn the contrast up to try to try to work that a little bit to get a better better picture. And then working up to the other part of the slither. Okay. Let's uh, let's put it kind of right where those craters is coming up off the center. Let's uh, see if we can zoom in a little bit. We can see a little bit of detail. Let's work this image. Uh, we can kind of see mountains at the edge of those craters. Let's uh, turn autofocus on just for a minute. Nope, oh, went off. Let me try to manually focus it with the motor. It's out of focus. It's starting to get cold outside. When I went out on the porch, you can see the light. You know, the sun's coming up. So I'm, I'm really, I mean, this is, this is our last shot. That's probably as good as I can get. Let's, let's leave it uh, zoomed in there and just go up. Look for UFOs, guys. See if you can see a UFO sneaking out of the shadow line. I was mentioning that I, I did a, a video of, of Saturn. And uh, it, it actually turned out pretty good. One guy uh, remarked that if I, if I stack the images, I, you know, I could probably get a pretty good picture. And that's true. There are are several like Reggie Stack. There's several programs that you know you can stack, and uh, but right now I'm kind of into the video because I think that has uh, see the light kind of coming blue on the background that's actually in this in the what what's happening right now the sun is coming up so the the sky is becoming bluer and eventually it'll be you know so bright that you won't even be able to see the moon okay back it out and look at it one more time and then we'll shut it down and color I'm going to turn the color all the way off turn it off we still have a little color that's the sun hitting the, hitting the moon because the sun's starting to come up putting in some yellow you can see the blue okay guys I think that's going to be about it as you can see, the sun is uh, arising. Uh, we're getting some. Uh, there, that's better. This camera is uh, very sensitive to color, and if any color comes in, it bleeds through. That's why when I'm on the moon and I'm looking, and I turn up the uh, the gain, I can really see if there's any color in that mar. You know, anything at all. It, it really, really comes out. I'll take it up at the top here and I'll just uh, sign off. This will be my last video for a while until we uh, get another shot at the moon.
or I might try to do Saturn again if I can get a, a really dark night. In the meantime, wishing you and yours clear skies, guys. Strange stuff, guys. Have a terrific weekend, week, whatever. See you guys.